Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is August 2nd of 2016. I'm going to try and review uh, this PicTech virtual reality 3D virtual reality headset. And I'm not sure how this is. I, ha I haven't tried this. I don't know anything about virtual reality. Looks like a nice... Uh, nice headset uh, I may pause this video and then uh, so I don't waste time at setting things I um, hope my cell phone is adequate let me check something though and see where I put because I downloaded they have they have a barcode and I downloaded one game took up quite a bit of sp I had a space drive city coast or something so I got that on here I haven't tried looking at it or I wonder how I'm gonna like press play then do I slip it in there I don't know and which way is right and left I have no idea where so uh, came in this box it says 3d glasses supports mobile phones for inches to six inches one push control to adjust focal distance and object distance more convenient to fit into the case with a magnetic attachment mode reflects the video glare of the phone and the anti blue light lenses can protect your eyes supports naked eye watching okay the two I think there's some cloths little tiny things in here to clean the lenses or something I think that's all there is to it. There's no, of course, no batteries or anything in here, of course. So, well, I guess I have to open this sucker up. Okay. Well, maybe they show something. Let's see. Here it is. Here's what it looks like when you look inside. Oh, I guess in that little thing there must be a strap to go over the top of the head to hold it. I'm not going to do that. There's a little tiny thing in there. But I thought it was cloth for cleaning or something. Okay. The removable foam gasket is designed for smaller smartphones. Four to five inches. Okay. More details. I don't know. I don't think this is going to work because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, push to open. Okay, I think it's already open. Press to close. Let's see. Okay, that's closed. Push to open. Okay. So, Maybe I'm not going to put this on hold. Oh, I see. The cell phone is all the way back. Okay, it's all the way back here, isn't it? Wait, that will be in front. Oh, I it's going to go in front of it. Okay, so I'm going to press this. Uh... Okay. Stop, I don't want you running yet. Well, how am I going to control, or I guess it's just a view. Oops. <clears throat> Did I press something? Let me take the phone out and see what I've done here. Ouch. Okay. What did I turn it off? Maybe it didn't go there. Fingerprint.
Oh, I see the the buttons right here at the at the top, right where the uh, on and off button is. I wonder if I can rotate my. Wonder if I rotate it here. Please insert your phone into drive and adjust the lenses. Exit play instructions. Okay, let's try instructions. 3D about the drive. The world's first hand free VR. For smartphones, play. Okay, is it in the front of this or in the back? Well, it couldn't be in the, because it would be that be blocking it. It's got to be in front of that, and my on and off switch is right up there where it's going to get hit. Okay, I'm having to hold this thing closed because I don't know what I'm doing. But okay, roller coaster. Okay, this is pretty neat. And this is just one game. There's a whole bunch of them. I don't know. I don't like the vomit. Okay, that is pretty neat. I can't spend too much time. Oh. So you don't have to mess with this. Uh, I don't really see any instruction, but I'm sure there are instructions online. Let me take my phone out of here if it'll come out now. Okay. So, um... I have a real phobia about vomiting, and some of these virtual reality uh, can make people sick because of, I'm told, because of the, your ears have this fluid in, and they, uh, they know when you're moving and when you're not moving, and when you're moving, your eyes are telling you're moving. It does something. Going back, I guess they're saying to our ancient DNA or whatever, where um, primitive people or whatever, if they ate bad mushrooms or bad meat, 
they would get this feeling and then they would vomit and that would keep you know was, and they're saying this is sort of the same same thing so it may be I didn't I didn't find, oh there's an, uh, an adjustment wheel here too probably focus or something so anyway I was sent this for review purposes I this is a blue uh, what make and model I don't even know anyway so uh, I'm giving this five stars. Looks like it's well made, and just make need to make sure you're. Uh, and there was a whole list of. Wonder if I could pull that up. Well, where was the barcode? Where did I see the barcode? Do I have an instruction book laying out here, some or a thing laying in here someplace that got separated? Because it was a barcode that I scanned. So anyway, let's. Uh, adjustable pupil distance. Let's see what else here. Well, I'm not going to read this to you. Uh, let me package contains a 3D VR glasses, sponge gasket for smaller phones, sponge block for holding a phone, cleaning cloth, dry alcohol cloth, wet alcohol cloth, user's manual, okay, dry cloth, uh, there's two reviews here, both of them giving it five stars. So, uh, yeah, I just don't have enough room around it. I, I've been moving stuff around and getting stuff ready, different stuff. To, well, I've reviewed two items within the last few hours. And so somehow, they, let me take a quick cat. Don't run over by the wheels here. Let me take a quick look over here. See if I can find an instruction book. Okay, I can't find it, but it's here someplace. Um, the instruction book is here someplace, and that's where I found a barcode that I scanned with the phone. It took me to the Google Play Store, and uh, or is it the Android Play Store? I can't remember. But uh, they had a whole list of different types. I wonder if I could pull that down. Anyway, I will update the written material. I'm not sure. But uh, there is an instruction book. Someplace in this disastrous place is the instruction book. I'm giving it five stars. I kind of chickened out on you. I did also want to make this file too big, but I also didn't want to get sick on on camera. Probably wouldn't happen, but didn't want to take the chance because I have somebody who has a, a big... I don't think anybody likes to vomit, but I have a, a phobia about it because of choking. Because I try to keep, I know you don't, you're not supposed to do that. I try to keep from vomiting. And then I aspirate on it and then it's not pretty. Last time, I think it was in the 70s, two years in a row, the, some flu came through and I had, the first year I had a bad episode and the second year a bad episode and I haven't vomited since then, and I don't want to vomit now. Many a night I've been sick at my stomach, and I've laid in bed and was terrified that I was going to vomit. So you did. You probably didn't want to hear that, did you? But there seems to be a real problem with, and they're working on things with this thing that some people I've heard that. Uh, 
tech shows and places where they're demonstrating this will put put on a headset. I don't know about this headset, but after a few seconds, we'll get violently ill. So be warned. But this looks to me like a good deal, good price, and seems to be good quality. And if your cell phone fits in there, okay. Since my switches are right here, I think that's where most of, no, see, I had one with it, so keep that in mind. Oh, you know, I do have a little plastic protector on the back, too. I probably should have pulled that off. I've got a little plastic protector here that goes, that might make a difference. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.